What's up, everybody? Me and Mr. Silver Fox are headed out to go get us some meat, honey. He called me and said, baby, come on, get dressed. We finna go get some meat. So I got dressed and uh, we going to Golden Corral. Yes, yes. Anyway, I've been in the house all day and uh, working and stuff and it was raining and the sun finally coming out. So we tell the Lord, thank y'all. So we about to go do it. Hey, good morning. Happy Sunday morning. I'm headed to worship, y'all. And um, last night, me and Mr. Silver Fox, he got out. I was gonna cook dinner, and he was like, "You know what? Let's go. I'm gonna pick you up in 45 minutes. Be ready, and we're going to go to Corral." Because when we went to his uh, appointment that he had procedure he had to have done testing. Um, the Golden Corral up there where we went, it was closed it, it, and it's up for sale. And I thought, what, what happened? So he was still trying to complete the plans that we had on last week. And uh, and, and and so that, that was right on time because I was like, oh, I don't feel like cooking. And um, cause n normally sometimes on Saturday nights I'll cook and we'll do a movie at the house. Uh, at my place, I should say, and um, so I was going through the process of searching Netflix and Amazon Prime uh, to see, you know, what we could watch, and um, so that was just right on time. Plus, I had been in all day; it had been raining, and then the sun finally came out, and it was a beautiful day. Um, so anyway, we got out the house on yesterday. Um, yesterday evening normally we do our stuff uh during the day because uh at night he about like me about about nine o'clock at night honey you ready you ready to be home honey but yeah we got back home about 9 30 so not too bad it was just dark i don't like to drive at night when i don't have to same way with him he don't like to drive at night but anyway he always drive everywhere we go but other than that y'all uh, today um mom's not cooking Either I'm gonna buy dinner tonight or I'm just gonna take her out to eat. You know, she needs a break out of the kitchen. Um, when you have someone living with you, you find yourself cooking all the time and my nephew stays with her, so she's always cooking for him, for him and, and of course for her. My mom rarely is a fast food person, so she's always cooking for herself. And it's built in her to do that. I mean, cause she, that's how my daddy, I mean, she cooked for him three times a day, you know, at least, or at least two times a day. And then on the weekends, she normally would have off. And weekends for them were Friday and Saturday. Friday night was her and my daddy's date night. They went out. And then sometimes during the week, they would go out and eat breakfast and stuff. Co-mingle with the retirees. <laughs> but uh, other than that, y'all, um, I hope... You know these nuggets of knowledge that I start doing. I hope they're a blessing to you. And again, some may be long. I might have them intertwined in other videos. But it's just again certain things that I wish I had known. And again, things that you were just learning now you can share. So, man, this man got a whole lot of stuff in the back seat of his car. How are you gonna see out your rearview mirror? You know. Anyway. Um, I got some things going on uh, next week. I got a meeting. I'm meeting with um, some political people Wednesday. I told you I do stuff that I don't pretty much air on this platform. Um, I'm very passionate when it comes to uh, politics. I'm very passionate when it comes to community. And um, so those are just some things that I just don't show on this platform. But I'm gonna take a meeting on Wednesday and y'all just be in prayer for me. Um, um, I've been asked to perhaps fill a position. Um, um, and I think it'll be something that I can do that will catapult me in a direction that I have been praying and asking the Lord to open me up to. Because a lot of times, you know, yes, I'm a concerned citizen. Um, I vote. I don't just vote presidential. I vote, you know, when they have the different primaries. Uh, you know, I'm voting for my senators. 
my councilmen, my judges, my superintendents, any time and every time there is a vote going on in the state of North Carolina, I am again studying my candidates. I'm not just, you know, looking at everything they say during election time. No, I'm I'm looking at your feet. I'm gonna see where your feet have been walking because you can say a lot with your mouth, but I want to see what you have done and what you are doing, and what you have been present on to vote. And you know that's so funny. Um, a lot of times we don't look at candidates um, for what their track record is. We just begin to be motivated by what they're talking about because they're on the campaign trail and they're on their stomping ground and everything. No, I'm going. I'm going to study you, buddy and ma'am, and I'm going to see what you've been doing all year long. What have you done? Because a lot of times we don't recognize we're voting against our own interest. <laughs> You know, oh, I like her because her hair looks good. I like her because she's, you know, she showed up at church twice this month. Um, and I've, I I don't see her any other time. Uh, but, though, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, no, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to know you by your fruit. I'm going to see, did you show up for that important vote? Were you there when they cast, you know, when they were voting on this bill or that bill? Yeah, yeah. And how did you vote if you did vote it? So anyway, I just, you know, again, this may can be a little nugget for you all. Um, a lot of times we're always wanting to be told what to do. Sometimes in this life, especially for political purposes, you have to do the study. You really do. You have to do the homework. You have to make sure that this person, and this should be, and this is anything in life. You know, that's what it means to me when I read that scripture, because it's applicable to everyday living. When it says, know who labors among you, know who labors among you. Because these people, if they're a representation of what your thoughts are, your beliefs, your moral compass, and you're vo voting against, you're voting for people that are that are against your interest and against your children's children's interest. Because I don't want my children, my grandchildren, to turn back and say, "My God, Grandma, what were y'all thinking? What were y'all doing? Y'all were just sitting back spectating and didn't even participate." You know. So a lot of things, I know. We get up, we're working, we're going to and from, doing what we have to do, and then we don't think, wait a minute. I thought I was supposed to get a tax cut. I thought I was supposed to get, you know, this and that. Okay, I might have got 30 extra dollars in my pay cut, but it's going out the back door when I file my income taxes. <laughs> I mean, you know, so those are the things that you have to think about when you're voting and when you're looking to support whatever party know who's laboring among you who's representing you your household you know anyway i didn't want to get all deep off into that other than to just say um be aware be aware just be aware anyway y'all uh let me get about at church get my worship on thank you father god now that you're going to feed my spirit and that the word that goes forth is going to be a blessing and and powerful and it will do what it was made to do and that for me to prosper and to be in good health that my soul prospers that increase comes to me frequently and easily that my finances and financial obligations will be met for this day and for any other day that you uh, allow me to continue to be on the face of this earth I thank you Father God that all needs are met I thank you that you are shaping and molding my mind to make the right decisions as it pertains to my life and those who are around me that will be affected by the decisions that I make. I thank you that you'll keep me focused on my goal. I thank you that you're going to allow me to continue to press toward the mark. I thank that you're going to give me continued wisdom and discernment so that I don't fall into the enemy's trap. Thank you, Father God, that you continually keep the enemy under my feet, that he will not prosper 
but that in all things you're gonna cause everything to work together that's the thing y'all and I thank you Heavenly Father that you're gonna cause all things to work together for my good thank you Father God these things because I acknowledge you in all my ways these things I ask for and believe they are done in your awesome son Jesus Christ's name amen amen I'm telling y'all when you pray to God be specific about what it is that you believe in and knowing he's going to accomplish for you because why he's the author and finisher of my faith yes he is and thank you for allowing the mustard seed of faith of all that I need in order for everything to come to pass and again to work together for my good all right, y'all, I am at church. Get on in here so we can get the rehearsing down and lift up the people and lead them into worship. All right, y'all. All right, y'all, right, I'm out of church. I need to make a pit stop to the mall and then, because I am out of candles, honey, and y'all, I, I can't have it. I got to have my smell good, honey. And then I got to go pick up Tony because Lisa had to work today, so she got the core and we're going to do Chinese uh, takeout for Sunday dinner today. Uh, I got it. I got it. I got it. But, yep. Today was an awesome day. Awesome word. Yes, honey. Yes. Mm. Lord, you're faithful. I can put my trust in you because you're able. There is nothing you can do. You're my anchor and my fortress. When I'm in your presence, I am unafraid. You are my hiding place. Mm, 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 mm. Is that not the truth, y'all? Ah! But yeah, let me hit this mall and see what Belt talking about. Belt's been calling my name. Bell's been calling my name, yeah, yeah. Bell's been calling my name, and I ain't got no shame. Uh, I ain't got no shame. No, y'all, I ain't got no shame. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, honey, look, let me tell y'all something. Y'all better laugh in this lifetime, honey. Honey, all that medicine you release in your body when you laugh and stuff, y'all better do it. <laughs> the joy of the Lord is my strength. <laughs> anyway, let's go see what Bill's talking about. <laughs> I'll feed up the day. That's what you got to say. I'll feed up the day. That's what you got to say. Oh, good. How are you? Good, good. See if I can find me a honey hole in belt, y'all. <laughs> Let's do it, y'all. Get in my little honey hole in here. Look at the pretty necklaces. They're pretty, y'all. Pretty, pretty. Look at these Michael Kors on sale. Ooh, look at that pretty lavender purple. Is that not gorgeous? It's uh, 178. Love that color, y'all. That is gorgeous. Hmm, those are some pretty earrings. So pretty. These are pretty too. Love blue. All right, y'all, let's go into the shoe department clearance room. Don't look too bad in here. So nobody got talked about. Nobody's mama got talked about. They didn't talk about the pasta. So let's look around and see what we can see. You know what, y'all? I'm thinking about getting these. I have seen these about a couple of months back, and I didn't get them. But these are cute casual wear. 
I'm, I'm really liking these. They're 22 and they'll be 40% off that. I might have to snatch those up. Y'all, I'm kind of liking these. These are by um, Kari. And uh, they will be 40% off these. And I love the way they look on my on my foot. This is a small wedge heel. Love these. These are mine. Oh, y'all, they got them in black, too. <gasps> you know I got to get them in black. Yes. Okay, y'all, I've got my shoes. And now let's go get the candles. Y'all, I looked through some of the clothing, but it was just too much. I ain't got the right shoes on. And I just decided not to do a whole lot of clothes shopping today. I got a good deal on these shoes. Two pair of shoes for $30. Are you kidding me? These shoes are by Kari Blue. They're $70. So $140 for two shoes. Got them for $30. We're winning. We're winning. Flam, flam, y'all. They ain't even open yet. Do what? Get a pretzel, y'all. And a drink while I wait. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, y'all. I'm sitting in the mall waiting on Bath and Body Works to open. When the last time y'all just sat in the mall? It's been years for me. So I'm just people watching to my store open because I figured I'm not going home. I'm not going home while I'm already out. Just go on and wait, relax, meditate, and then get my um, candles that I need. So you seen them, once you seen a, a, a Bath and Body Works, once you seen one, you seen them all. All right, y'all, we got 10 more minutes. But anyway, I got to remind myself when I get in there, I need some more of this. I'm out. Hand lotion. Hello, beautiful. Love it. Smells good. I put some pink lip gloss over this burgundy color. It don't look bad. Y'all, I'm having the best time people watching. I haven't done this in a long time because I your girl just be too busy but <laughs> some of these men walking around with their wives and family and stuff. I noticed that a lot of men they walk ahead. <laughs> and look y'all, they're probably thinking, Oh snap, how much money am I gonna be out today? <laughs> Okay, y'all, I got my candles, and uh, they only had uh, the the one wick candles on sale. You got two for 16, and then I got my lotion, um, and uh, now I'm going to go get Tony. There's a lot of people at the mall today. I tell you what, y'all, everybody is all about getting them a steak today. You got the Logan Roadhouse and the Texas Steakhouse is uh, wall to wall, car to car, packed. What you're gonna say about that? And it's hot out these doors. I mean, it, the temperature only says 83, but my God, it feel like uh, 103. The sun rays, baby, the sun rays. He rolled me out. right there make you want to cut up y'all <laughs> talking about your testimony how you got up and got over how that devil thought he had you yes sir all right y'all i'm at tony's house waiting on him to get ready and he's in real form he got jokes today yeah <laughs> 
All right, we at Mama's house. We about to do it. Y'all come on and join us on the flavor train. Y'all know what it do. Don't you try to be no shame. Don't you try to be no shame. Don't you try to be no shame. Narik, say hi to me. Narik, Narik, look. Say hi to me, Narik. Say hi. <laughs> I like this pretty afghan. No, I ain't seen DJ in a minute.